Mm. How do you explain, though, when twins who have been raised apart or who are living miles and miles from one another do these things, do these very similar things or dress in a similar way or, you know, feel pain when the other one's in pain? How do you explain it? Right. Well, their similar genes lead them to seek out similar kinds of opportunities, similar kinds of events and people. You know, many twins who were raised together, for example, might try to choose different occupations or different uh, life experiences, but they find that they gradually drift back to the same thing because it's compatible with who they are. And we suspect that for identical twins raised in different families or sometimes even in different cultures, from the range of opportunities available to them, they pick out the things that are most compatible with who they are. Mm. Well, uh, I'm sure there'll be some argument about that in a moment, but each year in America there's a famous festival that attracts thousands of identical twins, and it's not just a social get-together. Scott Rensberger went along to have a look.